Today, we're going to show you a new data set available to all TradingView members. This data set is the Federal Reserve Economic Data Set, which you can access in the symbol search by typing in FRED. Federal Reserve Economic Data Set, just type in FRED in the search box. You'll see it here under the economy section because this is economic data. This is about the economy. This is how you can study economic trends like the M2 money stock, uh, hiring trends, business trends, here's initial claims, 30-year treasury constant maturity rate, things like that directly from the Federal Reserve's economic data. So once again, you head up to the symbol search. See our mouse at the top left and click. Now remember, when you have the symbol search open, you can search for anything. All, so you can search the entire database. You could type in something like Amazon. So you'll search the entire TradingView database for any type of symbol or ticker to chart. You could type in Apple. You could even type in something like crypto and you'll see everything that has the word crypto in it, like crypto total market cap. You could then sort by stock, futures, forex, CFD, crypto itself, index, or the economy. This one is more about the economy, so that's where FRED comes in. So let's go to all, and as you can see to the right here, it says FRED. That's the Federal Reserve Economic Data Set, now available to all TradingView members. Just click, and it will instantly show up on the chart. So what we're going to do actually is clear this chart up so we can just start showing you some examples right away so you can get started. Click the symbol search, type in FRED, and now let's get going. We can add on the unemployment rate right to our chart. So this is the unemployment rate. Look how far back it goes. This is 85, this is the 70s, and here we are in the 40s when it first got started. How cool is that? This is an entire economic history right here, and you can chart it. Now, here's what you can do as well. There's a plus sign at the top that says compare or add symbol. We'll go ahead and click that, and now you can add things like the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, BTC USD. What else should we add? Why don't we also add lumber? And now you can chart them all on one chart. You can zoom in as much as you need. You could change the scales. You could even change it to not be percentage, just be a normal price scale and now you can begin your analysis as needed and we can even do log and then click auto to refit it and here is all of the symbols we just added on one chart now it's up to you to do the research to look for correlations to look for any interesting insight that you are searching for okay let's clear this chart up again we'll click the X on each ticker to remove them and let's click the symbol search. Let's type in Fred again. And now why don't we do some more interesting charting comparisons. Let's do the M2 money stock. What is the M2 money stock? This is the total amount of money in circulation that's been created or printed. And now we can see this directly on a chart. We can go back up and click compare, compare. And now we can start to chart other interesting comparisons like BTC USD again. And we'll add the S&P 500 again. We could even add Apple, one of the largest stocks in the equity markets today. And we could now see the M2 money stock alongside Bitcoin, the S&P 500, and Apple. That's pretty cool. And one more thing we'll show you about this. This is really important. So here is the M2 money stock. We click compare. And keep in mind that when your mouse hovers over a symbol to compare, you have three options. Same percentage scale, new price scale, or new pain. So if we click new pain, for example, it's going to open up a new pain at the bottom of the chart. And now what we have is the M2 money stock and Bitcoin. And we can see them essentially at the same time and make analysis as we see fit. We could go to log scale and now make decisions or research or find something that we think is a unique insight into the price action economy or just general trading activity as a whole and click the x to reset the chart back to the money stock 
go up to your simple search once again type in Fred and by the way when you type in Fred you can now search for any keyword for example let's search the entire Federal Reserve economic data set for inflation and now we see all of the things we can chart that use the word inflation here's the University of Michigan inflation expectation let's click and this is the University of Michigan inflation expectations we can zoom out all the way back to the 70s and see this on a chart let's do this again let's type in Fred and this time let's type in job for jobs we now have job openings, total non-farm, the unemployment levels, unemployment rate. All of this is available to all TradingView members. Why don't we just click in this instance, job openings, total non-farm. We click. This is job openings. Whoa, look at this spike. Pretty interesting. Job openings are soaring at the moment. And then, of course, we could compare this to something like the S&P 500. Let's do a new price scale. So a new price scale will open up two different price scales, left and right. One is for job openings. One is for the S&P 500. We can zoom in, check out the correlation or the way these are moving together. You may find something interesting just like this in your research. Symbol search, Fred. This is new to all TradingView members. Get started today. Let us know how you like it. Leave any questions or comments below. And thank you for watching.